The history of the automobile is full of interesting events that have occurred all over the world. The city of Coventry has a particularly rich history in this industry. Much of this history has been captured locally at the Coventry Transport Museum, which is a free resource for the public. Coventry is a city located not far from UK's second biggest city, Birmingham, and has ancient origins that date back to the Bronze Age. The city grew over the centuries and by the 18th and 19th centuries was a leading centre for watches and ribbons. These industries began to decline and many of the skilled workers began to work on a new industry, the bicycle industry. Inventor John Kemp Starley introduced the Rover Safety Bicycle, which became quite popular. As technology advanced, Starley founded the Rover Company and there was an evolution into motor manufacturing. Coventry quickly evolved into a hub for the design and manufacture of horseless carriages as the early cars were known. The founder of the British Motor Syndicate, Harry J. Lawson, formed the Great Horseless Carriage Company in 1896 in Coventry. Around the same time, he also invested in the Daimler Motor Company. The Daimler Motor Company was established by Frederick Sims, who had acquired British rights to the petrol engine developed by Gottlieb Daimler in Germany. Harry Lawson purchased an old cotton mill in Coventry for the Daimler Motor Company and it became the location where the first serial production car was made in Britain. Both the Daimler Motor Company and the Great Horseless Carriage Company evolved from the acquisition of Daimler patents. Outside of Coventry there was also a great deal of activity in the UK around the new automotive industry. While Lawson was investing in Coventry, a mining engineer from South Wales, Richard Stevens, produced his first car in 1897. Stevens had spent some time in the automotive heart of the US, the state of Michigan, and he took the ideas of an assembly line from Henry Ford and set up the first production line in Britain. Henry Ford himself eventually established a factory in Manchester in 1913, producing over 7,300 cars that year. The rest of the car manufacturers in the UK produced approximately 9,000 cars in the same year, with the leading producers being the Wolseley, Humbler and Rover companies. World War I, however, halted production of all cars from 1914 to 1918, though the war led to many production techniques being developed that later assisted the rapid growth of the industry on a national scale for the UK. From this start, the city of Coventry flourished into a critical part of the British motor industry. In 1932, the UK surpassed France to become the largest European automotive producer, and by early 1950s, the UK had become the second largest car manufacturer globally. In addition, by this time, the UK was the largest car exporter in the world, exporting 52% of all the world's vehicles. Dozens of manufacturers and suppliers were established in Coventry and the city's economy boomed. Many of these automakers have names that are recognizable even today. Rover, Triumph, Daimler and Jaguar. By the early 1960s, however, Britain's industry began to decline due to several factors that hindered being able to reduce manufacturing costs, including labor-intensive methods and variability in the types of models offered. By the late 1960s, four main companies dominated the British industry. BLMC, Chrysler UK, Ford and Vauxhall. The uniquely British company in this, BLMC, faced an uphill battle towards being able to increase their local production, including supplier problems, quality issues and increased competition from overseas producers. The decline continued for the British industry, and in the late 1980s, Ford bought several British companies, including Aston Martin, Jaguar, and Land Rover. Over the next couple of decades, car producers were reduced greatly in the UK, sending ripples through the entire supply chain and making a huge impact on both the national UK economy and the local economy for Coventry. The only automobiles actually manufactured in Coventry today are the famous black cabs that are quintessential to the City of London. 
These cabs are also used nationally in the UK, as well as exported in small quantities abroad. Today, there is a resurgence in the UK auto manufacturers. In 2008, Indian company Tata Motors bought Jaguar Land Rover from Ford and begun establishing a strong manufacturing base in the UK. While only product development activities currently take place in the city of Coventry, there is a great deal of manufacturing activity taking place close by of Range Rovers in Solihull on the outskirts of Birmingham. The future of the British automobile manufacturing looks bright as industry, government and academics work together to help build an industry that evolves in a sustainable manner and learns from the past.